Hello everybody, this is D. Welcome back to Near Fall Gaming. This is our SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager mode 24-7. Um, we are just going to get right into it. Uh, no need to confirm our match card because we already did it in the last episode. Um, not necessarily on purpose, but not the biggest deal because uh, we're just doing a couple sessions in a row. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and give you a preview of the match card. We cannot give you a recap of last week's match card, unfortunately. Um, however, due to the power of technology, um, we may not be able to do the review right now, but we're going to go ahead and do the review here in a second, and we're going to play it back right now. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get this recap of our April 26th episode of SmackDown started. Matt Hardy versus Jeff Hardy in a one-on-one -on -one match, a hardcore match. Two and a half stars is kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. And these two were competing for a spot in the United States Championship match at Judgment Day. Matt Hardy picked up the victory and will now be placed into that match. He's the first of four. Kane defeated Johnny Nitro as a, not a, more of a favor for Corvon and Burke, but more just because he wanted to fight somebody tonight. Uh, he wanted to take on some kind of competition. Uh, Corvon and Elijah Burke gave him the opportunity to take on Johnny Nitro. He took it and he go he uh, took the W as well. William Regal and Gregory Helms faced off one another in one-on-one -on -one matchup. William Regal actually wins the match here in kayfabe uh, despite the gameplay saying otherwise. Um, and then Edge, Chris Masters in our fourth match of the evening, Edge defeated Chris Masters, uh, just as you see here in Kayfabe as well. No outside interference. Edge, Edge just kind of showed himself to be uh, the top dog for a reason. And then in our main event, this match it was to settle what had happened between Bobby Lashley and Mr. Kennedy concerning the contendership tournament. Bobby Lashley beat Mr. Kennedy in a steel cage match. Mr. Kennedy then beat Bobby Lashley via countout. Uh, to regain that contendership spot. Now, the GM has, deter or has declared that these two will face off in a rubber match, a hard or a no disqualification match. The only stipulation is that someone has got to be pinned or someone has got to submit. And then, Bobby, or Bobby Lashley loves it. Mr. Kennedy, he's got a plan. In comes Snitsky, and this match essentially becomes, or becomes a handicap match. And Mr. Kennedy ultimately, like a snake that he is, picks up the victory over Bobby Lashley. And that was the main event for our April 26th edition of SmackDown. Back to the actual recording that has us locked into where we can't check this. And that sets us up for the preview of this next uh, SmackDown, the May 3rd episode. So, match number one, we've got... Kenny Dykstra taking on William Regal in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Kenny Dykstra uh, wants to go ahead and face William Regal after Gregory Helms faced William Regal last week and took the loss. Uh, kind of, you know, up to speculation, but um, in kayfabe, basically Kenny Dykstra uh, seemed to have cost Gregory Helms the match by distracting him, but it seemed he is masking it by making it seem like he was trying to help. But uh, the tensions are definitely flaring between Kenny Dykstra and Gregory Helms. Match number two, Chavo Guerrero and Elijah Burke set to face off in a one-on-one -on -one contest. But this one is going to be for the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, this is our first title match of the series. So Chavo Guerrero gets to be the champion who gets to make the first defense. So we'll see if his first defense is a successful one. Elijah Burke, of course, is going to come out with Marcus Corbin. Then in our next match, this is going to be the next qualifying match for the United States Championship. Uh, Jeff Hardy last week competed, um, but the general manager was so impressed by the show that he and Matt Hardy put on, he's going to go ahead and put him in the next qualifying match. Um, however, this match was supposed to be scheduled for next week to give Jeff Hardy a little bit more of a resting period in between matches because of the hardcore match that he took part in. But Chris Masters denied, uh, or he didn't let that happen, basically. He said he was, quote-unquote, unavailable, uh, to, put, to put it shortly. 
um, and basically refused to do the match at any other time other than this week. Um, and he knew that uh, he had the leverage because of the time frame that the, uh, the qualifying matches need to be in. Anyway, this match is taking place and the winner will go on to Judgment Day and join Matt Hardy and two other unnamed competitors in a Fatal 4-Way match. Match number four is going to be a handicap match. Kane versus Johnny Nitro and MVP. Johnny Nitro and MVP have been requesting this match for the last few weeks. Uh, Kane has kicked both of their asses. They're unhappy about it. They've got big egos. They don't like it when they look uh, weak or anything like that, and that's exactly what Kane did to them. So uh, that is the reason for this match. Kane doesn't give a shit. He's a big red monster. He's on a roll. He's got momentum, and he just wants to continue on the path of destruction all the way, hopefully, to Judgment Day. For the main event, which will determine who will face Kane in the finals of the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament, uh, the World Heavyweight Championship Contendership Tournament, excuse me, um, Rey Mysterio, Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy has gone on quite the journey to get here. Uh, he lost, beat Bobby Lashley, and then beat Bobby Lashley again, uh, first by countout, and then second due to Snitsky interfering in a no disqualification match, basically making it into a handicap match. This match is not a no disqualification match, it is just a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, but Mr. Kennedy seems to have employed the services of this big ugly bastard known as Snitsky, and Snitsky will be accompanying Rey Mysterio down to the ring. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. R William Regal and Mr. Kennedy, we are going to simulate this match and hope. Yes, Kenny Dykstra gets the victory and ends the drought for Kenny Dykstra and Gregory Helms, at least between the two of them. Uh, Gregory Helms, it was just a one-on-one -on -one match. It says handicap here, but uh, kayfabe, one-on-one. -on -one. Kenny Dykstra uses the dirty tactics. Gregory Helms just does not approve, but it got the job done. Kenny Dykstra ended up with raising his hand in victory for the first time in this series. On to match number two, we've got Chavo Guerrero defending his championship against Elijah Burke. This is the first championship match. You know we're going to play it. We're playing as Chavo Guerrero. We're going to go ahead and try to successfully defend the Cruiserweight Championship. And if all goes well, I was not able to change it. Contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from El Paso, Texas, weighing 200 pounds, Chavo Guerrero. I'm not sure what was going on with the sound there, but we got to figure it out. Uh, sorry about that. But anyway, um, we weren't we weren't able to change it in the game. However, I. Uh, this match is going to end with a Chavo Guerrero successful retention. However, Johnny Nitro is going to get involved in the Cruiserweight match. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, it's going to be a good match for sure. It's going to probably go about eight or nine minutes before Johnny Nitro gets involved. But ultimately, he's going to cost Elijah Burke any chance and the opponent of taking home the victory. From Jacksonville, Florida, weighing Chavo in at 230 pounds, Elijah like that. But Johnny Nitro just clearly um, sticks his nose where it doesn't necessarily belong and costs Elijah Burke. Tonight's SmackDown is going to bring down the house in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside. Button and I'm so fired here. up for tonight's show. This I is the first time wait. we've seen either, either of these guys. Damn, I, I continue to forget to put can that I, back And I'm sure um, these Salt Lake fans can't that we either. So let's get this show on the road. Um, however. And there's the reversal. 
this is the first time I believe we've seen either of them of these guys in singles action. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match I think like this. The first time we've seen either of them in action. Chavo for sure. Scenes, too. Elijah Burke no question. If you want to make it in the WWE, Obviously you've got to sacrifice just series, about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. And for a lot just, of guys, ooh, what a devastating kick life. by Chavo. That's why you see so okay. much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. I don't going to want to go blow for blow there, with no one Elijah gives Burke, given that he was an amateur boxer. As the WWE superstars. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this okay. anywhere else. We're going for the and submission. that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE right. superstars anywhere else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest Damn, athletes okay. in the world. And this is the okay. only place you'll see them doing what the they do best. Probably a technical high flyer. Or not. Yeah, see, he's a technical superstar. Why did that take him that long to get out of this? Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they did. Tell me Elijah's. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. But he'd be reversing my shit, dude. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. But I'd be reversing his shit too, though. But then I'd be doing dumb shit like that. These superstars have been given. <clears throat> Come on, Chavo, this is your title, He's brother. Going for the cover. One, two. I don't think there is isn't. Is there a cancel pin option in this game? I'm I hope sure. this isn't the last time a high risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Come on, quit oh. showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity same, contest. Thing, We've seen this I before. Assumed. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. We've seen this before. But I assume that they would just go for another for the pin. elbow drop. See, I don't want to... He likes fighting dirty, and it's easy to see why. He's is it really a? good it at it. I think it's a, he right? certainly is, and I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. And the crowd has come alive tonight. Looks like someone's moving Trump. up in the world. Come on, Elijah. This is really bothering me that the manager is just like, don't show up at all. Is the crowd like, is coming I, alive. I guess I'll this get him into the popularity and everything. Hey, try to you know, strain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. That is rather disappointing. Come on, child. I think these oh, superstars yes. are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. Oh, and that's yes, the attitude son. you have to take to win. You know that your opponent oh, isn't yeah. going to hold anything back, and he could pin Smart his package. opponent right here. Okay, I think it's A to cancel the pin, guys. For anybody that was Man, hoping this to learn how turned to play into a fight. Uh, pure and game. simple. That's how. We knew it was going to be intense. Here it is. He's um, building up ahead of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent get is smart, get he'll get the hell out of there. Get this down. is going to be big, See, they know one way or the other. Which is unfortunate. This superstar is well, all fired up. And so is this okay. capacity okay. crowd. Yeah, okay. well, one mistake and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. Oh, I can't oh, believe the lack of respect there. these fans have for Chavo Guerrero. I don't think the fans like that one too much. Mm, and there's the really? pin. I <clears throat> what a cowardly move. You don't can't necessarily win fair and square. So he tries to screw his like opponent totally out of the victory. Hey, nothing wrong with doing whatever it takes to win. If it was that bad, the ref would have disqualified oh, him, right? Look oh, at that. Pandering to the crowd. Here we go. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. Big Instead of pandering bus. to the fans, you should really keep your head in the... He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, he's doing that. He's doing... How does that work? Okay. Is that, that's Man, I don't want anything. this match to end. I'm with you, so partner, but it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. 
He was one step ahead on that one. Damn, really. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And the now he's going to get them exactly the what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the game. crowd. That's a I'm huge very, very distraction, very in my opinion. Damn. Why is it break? He might pull it off. These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match, that isn't going to make yeah, you popular, but you got to do whatever it Boom. takes to win. Okay. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. Talk about we superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right more damage than you And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your money. career for a single a match. Right hey, you got to be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. Go You'd know first. that if you actually see. ever step see, between those ropes. I don't have to have been in a don't. match to realize that jeopardizing I, my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. You know, I'm going to replace you with somebody who Jello. actually knows what they're talking Even about. Though. See, Maybe yeah, Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now yeah. we see it paying off. Come I on, see Jabble. matches won and on, lost see, because go of moves for the like this. Get the fuck out, Man, on. this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's I no doubt that these fans... Now, there's a superstar <laughs> with guts. Says, these well, top rope and moves he continues so to are do the top. I don't blame him for doing the top. But. Wow, great reversal. There we go. You just got reversed. Doing some silly things. So, I don't think anyone in this match is even considering that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. That little... Knee breaker, shin breaker, Very few superstars has the physical and mental gifts wow. possessed by Elijah Murphy. He's okay. the total package know as far as I'm I did concerned, and he's going to go uh, far in this business. I didn't trigger it anymore? Did I lose it? You feel like a jerk when no. someone counters you like that. With his ace. I don't think I have it anymore. These people might not respect Chavo Guerrero, but come on, rap. That should have been a oh. disqualification. He's looking to put his see. opponent away Burbon. right here. Burbon. And this Drop him on his face. Hit him with a pin. Hit him with a pin. He's, he's only orange, but we might have a chance here. This could be three right here. He's a cruiserweight. No oh, oh in the that is some bonkers. All right, the come on, Chavo. Give right Gary Kubiak the business. The fans, oh, we'd all be out of a job. He's so technically sound, he's dodging everybody. Oh, shit. Oh, Elijah okay. Burke had 102 knockouts as a boxer now. before he came to WWE. 102. <laughs> and it would have been 103, but after knocking his opponent out, he was disqualified for not going to a neutral corner. <laughs> there this isn't an right. ounce this is, of quit. This isn't good. This isn't good. good. This isn't good. good. Away from victory. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, alright. Shit. These That's not what <laughs> Alright, Eliza Burke, everybody, has become your cruiserweight champion. Damn it. Alright, that is genuinely not what I wanted to happen, but I'm not going to go back. Because I wasn't... I'm not 100%. I'm not going to play his celebration because he wasn't. that wasn't supposed to happen. I will honor the victory. And I will continue it in kayfabe. However, that is not what I <laughs> heckin' wanted. Alright. Well, Elijah Burke, with the good help of his buddy pal, Marcus Corvon, picks up the W up against Chavo Guerrero, new Cruiserweight champion. Uh, despite, we're going to still go with the interference of Johnny Nitro. 
Um, yeah, I think that'll be just fine. Chris Masters and Jeff Hardy for the next match. Damn, man. That... that just is... Uh... Something else. <laughs> Something else. Okay, we are going to play the match. <clears throat> We're going to play it as Chris Masters... And hopefully we can redeem ourselves by defeating Jeff Hardy. And getting Chris Masters into Judgment Day to compete for the United States Championship. We don't need two Hardys in the same matches. From Los Angeles, California, weighing 275 pounds, Chris Masters! Big man, Chris Masters. It's interesting because honestly, like the character models in this game are a little bit of a step and down the from the character models of 2006. From in North Carolina, uh, weighing in slightly like a, a lot Jeff smoother. Hardy. But uh, as far as like the character model goes, it just looks like, I don't know, like, almost like clay or something like that. But, regardless, uh, it's something to be appreciated uh, because it strikes a real nostalgic nerve in my brain, um, and I'm not sure if it's much beyond that, but I, I mean, I love the SmackDown vs. Raw series, specifically 07 and 08, the, uh, uh, the original Utah. one in 06, and I'm but so fired up for tonight's show, I can't wait. The one that Neither I, can I put the most hours on. And I'm sure these Salt Lake fans can't either, so let's get right, this let's show on the road. Alright, let's see if I can continue to whip that ass with Chris Masters, um, especially unintentionally, because um, they seem to do very well with Chris who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right, right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind and up the risking you your wonder, career like, for a single match. Yo, hey, you brother, why would you like intentionally do whatever it takes? You know to lose that if you actually just, like, ever step one between one those ropes. Computer. I don't have to um, abandon a match to realize that, is, that jeopardizing like, the my future goal for the sake of is, one match like, the, is incredibly the, short sighted. The you know, I'm gonna replace like, you with somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes. On the screen but match, kind of like the story that I'm trying like to tell, to and I would say that if I, if I make myself lose more often than not, I Seeing avoid situations like where I play as Chavo Guerrero and defend I'm my with you, partner. title. You just and can't in a match a that should like get like interfered, and he should get and a dirty victory, but because I am the skill level that I am, I did not beat. <laughs> They're the greatest Elijah athletes in the world, one match. and this is the um, only place you'll see them doing what so they do best. I lost the this capacity title, crowd and is making their I'm opinions known tonight. Um, yeah, but that's why, because I can avoid that type of shit happening. And then he was one we step can just kind of go on with the story without having to readjust, uh, because we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do there. That's a swerve. Um, and Man, I'm not I don't exactly want this sure match to end. I'm with but you, partner, what I'm going to do but it's is I'm just going to stick later. with the result well, that you saw on the screen because no I will try as little as possible didn't give it everything to they got. deviate um, kayfabe from what you see. Uh, obviously, some things just aren't going to be night, possible the with the game that I'm playing never or fail like that, to or amaze just like, the fans. really any wrestling game has thing. failed to replicate like certain aspects of a wrestling show, but that's okay. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match that's for sure. But yeah, that's why. That's, that's the answer. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a if feeling they're going to wind I mean, up no against each other that, sooner so, or later. Um, there were times like when it seemed like it wasn't going to, to happen, but I now. can't tell you how glad I am that it did. <laughs> That's for sure. You don't want to yeah, get down, to throw bitch. these kind of right, combustible right. elements into a match. Nice Come on, let's show it off. This is a wrestling it's match, it's not a popularity and contest. And stop We've seen this before. Because he's been wrestling really his style really of match, and he's coming Chris up Masters. on a big payoff. Instead of handing to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. match. 
Come on. As you You're looking see, at a superstar who can beat off a crowd and um, use that energy to win the match. A good little cornerstone of wow, probably the great main reversal. Um, you know, he'll be able great to compete reversal. at the main event level, but I don't see him necessarily as a main eventer. I don't think I've ever seen like a guy can, as well he's put a guy together that as can the definitely spend He really some time is a in the work event, of he, art. He well, I don't know art, but I know what I don't like, and I don't event. like Master's arrogance. And I think that showcased with his actual WWE before he's earned the right to be that high at himself, in my opinion, for a short period of time. I, I shouldn't say he was a main event. I'll never understand how Jeff Hardy can leave the house looking but like he, that. Main event. I think the Jeff Hardy hairstyle is exactly what you might need to update your image. Look at that. Pandering into the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction. Other Chris Masters fans might be ashamed of what we're doing right now. As you can see, like, I've. I've said this before, and if you've watched, uh, I think we might be looking okay, at the future of the WWE cool. in uh, this <laughs> ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match. The fans are definitely If you've watched, into it. Uh, and that's what really matters. The episodes if the WWE before, fans aren't happy, they'll Christmas let you know it. Like you've seen I don't that want that to I've doubt the guy's sincerity, but he was obviously playing like possum there. But um, now that I'm Chris Masters against. Arguably easier competition, but These I mean, Jeff Hardy is pretty, pretty damn good in this game. Only one of them is uh, but I feel like Chris Masters would just be, at the end of this Kane would just be a And that's a real shame, because like you opponent. said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that right. everybody wins? So that nobody the point is, hurt? I'm working on that one, that. too, and that's really I'm just saying that in a great match like <laughs> this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. These fans have got something they want to share with us. That's their right. They paid for their tickets after all. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, You've got to be able oh, to yeah, hide it from your opponent. Red body, That's that absolutely is right. This man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans Max love him. And he's feeding off that energy yeah. right now. This has been a great match so far, but I think you know there's such a thing as playing to the I've never crowd seen too much. This is that's so dope. That's, that's his new fucking finisher. He's right. I Here's fucking love that. This could be it. One, two, shit. Okay. I thought that would be enough. Clearly not. That I've been still looking you forward to this match a all gang night. Or a gang so have I. Momentum, so. It's certainly been like one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. To try to and usually when you got that kind of hype, it's tough to live up the expectation, but these superstars why, aren't having I, any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And I mean, that's I, I an impressive thing in and of itself. Walk, I assume... I'm sure I'm not the I, only I one in this arena who hopes anything. to see Sometimes the masterpiece learn a lesson so in respect. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and yeah. build some momentum and at the same time. There. Still doing okay on damage. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Like this. You gotta end this, brother. The adrenaline is pumping. My man the crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. He's continuing hey, to reverse energy. Try to strain yourself a little bit, okay? And he's gonna he's spam the same move. The he middle. likes that leg drop. You know he likes that leg drop. Oh shit! There we go. There we go. There we go. Look what the fuck? How is that not a setup for the fucking master lock? Explain other. to me how it's not sure. a setup for the master lock. This match might have been over by now. Here yes, it is. Fine. He's building up ahead of steam, and he's that about to let his opponent have it. And if his However, seeing Jeff Hardy do that the move, hell out of there. like, was like deja vu because I used to play as Jeff Hardy a lot, or like my friends used to play as Jeff Hardy a lot, and that I hope this isn't like the, the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely don't agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long rivalry. Yeah, I cannot. I don't know how That's, nice it is. This don't try to hit is fucking running grapples so on the computer crowd. in legendary yeah. well, fucking mode because it's not going to work. We're going to see that fire okay. put out pronto. Nice. Now I'm hurt. 
He's got to keep him on the ground until his shit goes away. What in the world happened to Jeff Hardy and to make him turn it. out the he's way gonna he did? He's going to hit me with did. that little, I don't that think anything happened to him. Jeff is just one of those people who right marches and to the beat of a different drummer. Be Oh man, whoever hits the next when big I first move, about this match, I wasn't he's gonna sure go, what to go think, for the finisher, Chris. These superstars are finisher. blowing me away. Well, I guess you gotta give See, him look at that he bullshit. Really look at that bullshit, man. Backwards. He may get the three count right One, here. Two, that is such fucking bullshit. <laughs> these oh no, that's... Oh, that breaks my heart that I called it and everything and just, man. Damn. Okay, so that's two matches tonight that uh, did not go on. Here's your Jeff winner. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Okay. He is in the United States Championship match against his brother. Uh, and two other unnamed competitors. So we're gonna, we're not gonna deviate from that. We're gonna honor it, and um, we're gonna go ahead and move on. And we're gonna simulate this match. And Nitro and MVP pick up the win in kayfabe, but they did not pin Kane. They did not make him submit. Uh, there was no countouts, or it could have been countouts, but he didn't. He didn't get counted out. Uh, what happened was uh, they tried to pull some bullshit. Uh, MVP went to grab a chair, and um, Kane didn't let that. Well, he let him go have a chair, but he didn't let him use it. Once they tried to use it, uh, he got it from him, and ultimately uh, choke slammed them onto the chair, which. Uh, our referee, Gary Kubiak, the very honorable Gary Kubiak, had to deem that as a disqualification. So Kane technically takes the loss here. However, he sends the message to Johnny Nitro and MVP. Uh, they're the ones that are uh, left on the ground. And Kane is just pissed off even more. And I don't really understand why they did it, but um, <laughs> I do. Well, kind of I do. Because I'm the one who made it happen. <laughs> but... Uh, that's beside the point. That's what happened. Um, that is the outcome. Kane took the loss. We're going to honor that. And then uh, our final match of the evening, Rey Mysterio versus Mr. Kennedy in a singles match to determine who's going to face Kane at Judgment Day. Or not at Judgment Day, but for the finals in the Contendership Tournament. So we're going to go ahead and play this match. Rey Mysterio versus Mr. Kennedy. We're going to play as Rey Mysterio. We're going to try to pick up the victory. But you see, that hasn't been kind to us. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Sorry, Ken, but we gotta. We don't want it to go too long. We're trying to stay under an hour, for sure. Hopefully, under 50 minutes. Oh, I apologize. So I'm gonna hit the desk. I don't know if my mic. Tonight's picked SmackDown's it up, going to bring down the house in Salt Lake happened, City, Utah. And, uh, I'm Michael I Cole that. here with JBL. Let's go, Ray. And, and I'm so fired up for tonight's show, oh, I can't I know, wait. Honey. Neither can I. And I'm sure these Salt Lake fans can't either. So let's get this show on the road. Turn that back on. And there's the counter. And once again, the computer is reversing running strikes and grapples. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they Oof. sacrifice behind the scenes. Oof. To and remember, no uh, the question. graphic doesn't show it. If you want to make uh, it in the WWE, you've got doesn't to show sacrifice it in game for just about reason. everything. But Mr. Kennedy you know, is accompanied to the ring by Snitsky, and that's what uh, big I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Ooh, kicked him out of the ring, did he? 
Kick them out of the ring, Diddy. These superstars have been giving it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning oh, of the WWE superstars comes into play. Yeah, Fist you're not punches gonna win a match if you're blown up Come two on, minutes man. into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won Let's and lost on, simply go, because one superstar yeah. was able to outlast their opponent. You feel nice. like a jerk when and someone counters you like that. Versus immediately. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy too, right now. This that, superstar Ken. is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're going to see that fire that. put out pronto. Damn, son. He just hit this a, has been a great match so far, fucking springboard but I think it's 450. That off the middle going. rope. That is oh, rather really? impressive. Are you willing to go out on a limb and Back in my heyday, I could do that on There's the train. No involved, but, but if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep else. my mouth I, I mean, shut. I've never well, seen anybody do that, that, that but easy, I guess I'm going to say that rather impressive. Let's go, Ray. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match. Mr. Kennedy the fans to are definitely and into it. And that's that what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy. Here it is. He's building up ahead of steam and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is. He's got him covered. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on, you're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed nice. at the superstars nice. in the ring. You can't sure let that, that, that What a cowardly win. move. He can't win okay. fair and square. Okay, right. So he Stop tries on his to foot. screw his Stop opponent on his foot. victory. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that again. Whatever it takes to win. Win. It was that bad, the, right bad the rep yeah. would have disqualified him, right? The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed hey, to be your calling legs, this can't... down the middle. Come uh -huh. on, quit showing off. Yeah, this is a wrestling match, enough. not a popularity contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and Again? he's coming up on a big payoff. Again? Look at that. That's going to go over on, big brother. with the fans and build some momentum you know at the same time. Work on the, you got to watch the Ray Mysterio on the master of the 619. Like you know that, like don't someone's you? Someone's moving up in the world. Look at this. Pandering Ooh, to the crowd. He's up just Nothing time. wrong. I think someone's been he's taking flying lessons. Ooh, he's calling for it, everybody. He is he's calling for it. He's got this crowd it. solidly behind him. Ooh, and now but he's going he to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win okay. and take okay. every advantage he okay, can. Jim. Of course he will. That's what you got to do to survive in this business. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup, and I haven't been disappointed. I didn't say I'm not disappointed, right. Right but I'll talk about getting right. stuck with you oh, as a broadcast partner some other reverse. time. That's okay. Kennedy is a fine competitor. He is. I will say that. Seeing a match like I can't this say makes that he me proud to be, to be part of this in company. The spot that I'm with you, he is, but you just can't experience a spot, thrill right. like this so that. anywhere else. And that's because oh, look at that. He's talking shit. <laughs> I didn't even know he could do that. And that is just about the that's last dope. place okay. you want a ring rope. Just Boom, but I didn't I didn't know you could do one. that. Let's I'd go. Like to hear it. Come on, Ray. Oh. Oh shit. A lot of oh shit. Okay. Ray Mysterio is really exciting to watch, but he just doesn't have the size nor the strength to compete at this level. Okay, this we're getting crazy in this sure match. No pun intended. Mysterio's developed a very unique style that makes the most of his natural speed and agility. Sure, but if it comes down to Mysterio versus a super heavyweight, I know where I'm putting Kennedy's my money. Kind of whooping my age. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try okay. this stuff at home. Absolutely not. 
I'm These are fight. trained <laughs> WWE superstars. I've had the same and even they wind the up seriously times. injured sometimes. Wait, That's same. for sure. Even me, a former nice. WWE champion, has had his share of injuries over the years. Oh, but his, he's going to do a Boston Crab. Why does this game decide oh, this have might proven not time be good, and again actually. that they're willing right. and able oh, to go the distance? Well, you Dana don't get to too far in this business if you're not. But yeah, why does the AI sure, decide partner, to there's always choose someone right behind to you, use the move ready the to Boston overtake Crab you if you can't keep up instead of their finisher? Like, what, what in the code is like, use your quick grapple submission. Night after night, the WWE finisher. superstars never Terrible. fail to amaze the fans. Someone fucked and up. that's a good thing. I don't even like to this. think about where we'd be if they Because that's happened. Well, we wouldn't be sitting oh, here no, calling yeah. this match. Because it was on easy difficulty. Sure. No, it's because that's how the game was made. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner. But it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever yeah. way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything well, imagine they got. if he could climb onto the, uh, the turnbuckle like that and hit his finisher. That would be sick. You guys should do that for... Smackdown Mr. Raw Kennedy's got it all. He's got the look, he's great on the stick, <laughs> and he knows how to get it done in the ring. Yeah, and if you don't Come believe on, it, just ask you. Kicks. He won't hesitate oh, to touch. This is gonna be big, one way or the other. He's talking the shit. He's talking the shit. He's taking the piss and talking the shit. Oof, hits his... Okay, not I certainly don't he envy the referee in this match. No kidding, no matter up. what call you make, you're but gonna get on the no. bad side of at least one superstar. Yeah, and that's about the, the last lead. place you want to be if you're not lead. a superstar yourself. Trust me. And he lost his finisher again. Man, this AI just baffles me, brother. I just gotta hit a quick pin and call it good. I but cannot right remember now, the last beat. time. No, but he's I've seen happy to go to the top turn level. When he I know what you mean, partner. These superstars have really pumped his he's finisher going for the cover. from the top turn level. Damn, okay, so we're 0 for 3 tonight. Ray Mysterio no, I'm was just so kidding. Fast, I definitely so wanted Kennedy to win this match the whole time. Um, it was a good match. Ray Mysterio puts up a main event uh, type uh, match. Ray Mysterio can hang. We all know that. That's no secret. Uh, it's a great match, but ultimately, Snitsky is just the difference maker that Mr. Kennedy needs, and he's allow or he's allows Mr. Kennedy to just take advantage. Mr. Kennedy will distract the ref. And Snitsky will, uh, you know, hit a big boot on the outside of the ring and just stuff like that. And so Snitsky somehow um, is able to stand next to the big ugly bastard and not pass out due to how bad he smells. So that in itself uh, takes some serious grit from Mr. Ken Kennedy. Anyway, um, that is it for this SmackDown on May 3rd. We're going to move on to this week's shenanigans and book next week's show. Um, however... Uh, one thing uh, that I wanted to just go over uh, is just what the tournament looks like now that we're set for the finals. We're going to go ahead and pull up the graphics that have brought us up to this way from our eight men down to our final two men to determine which one man is going to face Edge at Judgment Day. So, it uh, should be a good one. Uh, no pay-per-views this weekend so we don't get shafted in the uh, ratings even more. Injury free month, we'll take that. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. Move on to WWE.com. Let's see what we got there. This episode is a little bit of a longer one. Um, those matches kind of went on, but we're going to try to get through it. Um, but we're just going to take take the time that we need to take the time to do. Uh, three and a half star rating for ECW. Let's see, three star rating for Raw. SmackDown's probably going to be like two and a half. Two and a half, total. Fan support, 2.3 million. We did go up. You see those spikes up there? I see them. Okay. Power 25. Edge. Bobby Lashley. Kane. Power top 10. Kane drops to 6. After last week. Elijah Burke up in the top 5. After being Cruiserweight Champion, man, that that fucking pissed me off. <laughs> but, but we're gonna roll with it, man. Chavo Guerrero's popularity just went to shit after that too. I'm sure of it. Um, okay, Power 25. Let's go through it a little bit more thoroughly. Edge number one, Rey Mysterio number two, 
Bobby Lashley, number three. Mr. Kennedy, number four. Elijah and Marcus Corvon, uh, number five. Kane, number six. King Booker, number seven, stayed right there. Hardy Boy is number eight. Um, so basically, Ray, Mr. Kennedy is a finalist in the contendership tournament, and Kane. So if Kane wins, hopefully he gets in that top five spot. I hope he does. Um, I'm sure he will. If he wins. Uh, Mr. Kennedy uh, is already in there, and he's probably not going to lose before then if he's going to face it. So I think we're okay as far as will we, can we have a legitimate uh, world championship match? Um, because that is something you got to worry about. Okay, that, that does it for those shenanigans. Let's go ahead and start our events. First, let's actually... Chavo's a sub-60, and William Regal's a sub-60. We don't like sub-60s on our show. Um, but Edge is an 87, Mysterio 84, Lashley 82. Elijah Burke is now a 78, Mr. Kennedy is 78. Uh, Kane is 76. King Booker 75, Mark Scorvon 74, Matt Hardy 72, Jeff Hardy 70, Dykstra 69, Sabu 69, Nitro 68. Gregory Helms and Snitsky, Snitsky, man, I cannot say his name consistently, consistently. <laughs> uh, Chris Masters, 63, MVP, 61, Finley, 60, okay, so we got some stuff to do, look at these overalls, man, 60s and 82, and nobody else is below an 85, that is, that's insane for just overall ratings, honestly, like, William Regal, probably by default the lowest popular, lowest popularity character. He starts as an eight, he's an eighty five overall, which is just insane. Like you'd think he'd be like a seventy something or whatever like that. But shows you how bullshit that is. How bullshit popularity can be, right? Um, current champions Edge, uh, now Elijah Burke. Um, to much of my dismay, I'm not happy with that. Rivalries are none of your business, but I'm gonna check them right quick. He's on that stuff, but you know what I mean. Okay, events and activities. Turn for date. We're gonna send our boy Willie Willie Reeks. We're gonna send Chavo. Try to get our sub sixties out of there. A little not so sub sixty. William Regal's got some work to do, but thank goodness for Kenny Dykstra Podcast Day on a Wednesday. Plus three, not a big success. It's kind of lost some of the novelty a little bit, but um, that's okay. We're going to keep doing it. Trophy date. We're going to send Mr. Kenny. Kennedy's probably hovering around an 80 at this point. We're going to go ahead. I realized when I did the roster, I did not check contracts. Five weeks. Two guys I didn't sign. So we're just going to go ahead. They're cheap. Cheaper than dirt right now. So we're just going to go ahead and extend them. And then I'm going to pick one of these guys. Mr. Kennedy. Probably, fuck, I should have done this contract right before. I want to give him a three month. I'm just going to, the way I like to do contracts, um, especially in games like these where they're running out so consistently, is I try to just stay on top of it um, way ahead in advance because if I don't, I will forget the week of and I won't notice. And I will fuck around and lose a few guys in my roster and key guys in my roster. And uh, it just makes for a sad time. So let's see where those free agents ended up. Piper's got two weeks left. I wonder if they'll hit free agency. I doubt it. Big show. Chris Jericho and Alex Robinson. Alex Robinson is just a generic dude, I think. Um, but obviously, Chris Jericho and Big Show. Look at those character sprites. Uh, those pictures. That's good stuff. Uh, looks like they all lost, except for Alex Robinson. Um, I wonder if ECW... I think that's all three of them. But, uh, yeah. It's a shame that ECW didn't get them, because their roster is literally like nine people. Okay, 
we are here on the April 10th edition of SmackDown. We're going to go ahead and get this booked up. We're going to open up the match with a tag team match. We got Kane and Sabu. That would be an interesting tag team, honestly. But no, William Regal and Sabu actually taking on Gregory Helms and Kenny Dykstra in a tag team match. In a tag team match, in a tag team match. So, uh, last week we saw Kenny Dykstra kind of break the streak of losses that these two were experiencing against William Regal. And uh, the way he did that is not necessarily by means approved of Gregory Helms. Gregory Helms is, you know, this isn't heel Gregory Helms. This is, uh, you know, Wiley veteran kind of, um, I'm trying to help out the, the next wave of, of guys like Kenny Dykstra. Um, that's what this Gregory Helms is. And he's trying to help out Kenny Dykstra. Uh, he doesn't approve of the way that Dykstra's trying to pick up W's, but Kenny Dykstra, he picked up a W. So, I mean, um, hard to argue with that considering how many losses that these two have taken. They've taken like four of the last five matches that they've been in. Um, so, we're now sitting here looking at tag team match again against William Regal uh, and Sabu. Uh, these guys are 0-3 as a tag team, I believe, but, you know, maybe Kenny Dexter's momentum uh, can bring them into a 1-3. Match number two is actually going uh, to be Jeff Hardy and Chris Masters <clears throat> having a rematch. And if uh, you were watching earlier... Uh, <laughs> You would know that I genuinely did not want Chris Masters uh, to win or to lose that match. So what happens is Chris Masters uh, is cutting a promo, or he's not cutting a promo. He's he's complaining uh, to the general manager in the back. He's like, "Why the hell did you allow? Uh, why the hell did you al allow?" this to even go on. You know that I should have just been placed into the United States Championship match if you were deciding to do a fatal four-way. I shouldn't have even had to compete against Jeff Hardy. Uh, you know, this, that, and the third. The general manager's like, Chris, I thought you said you weren't going to be here this week. I thought, you know, we wanted this match to be uh, this week anyway, but you had to go and bitch off and do your thing and whatever. So now uh, we just have an exhibition match, and you have to deal with that because you're out. You, you don't get to be in the United States Championship match. I'm tired of people asking me to change the outcomes of things that they could have prevented in the first place. Uh, Chris Masters, heated by that. Absolutely heated. Uh, Jeff Hardy shows up. He appears. He's like, excuse me? Um, and Chris Masters, he kind of grabs Jeff Hardy by his shirt, pushes up, up against the wall. He says, you know damn well that uh, you won on a fluke that you couldn't beat me again, this, that, and third, and Jeff Hardy's like, all right, prove it. Um, the faces in this universe, in this series, you know, they're very bold. They're not afraid to put their shit on the line, so Jeff Hardy says, you beat me, you're in the match, however, I want a hardcore match. I lost to my brother in a hardcore match, so therefore, I want to redeem myself by winning a hardcore match against you, and we're going to go ahead and get this settled. You got some I want, and you can give me, uh, or I've got some you want, and you can give me something that I want by doing this hardcore match. Chris Masters like, fine, uh, you crazy rainbow-haired motherfucker, uh, but we'll do it. But just know that you asked me for this, and that uh, ultimately, um, I'm going to be put back in Judgment Day. And that's how that segment ends, and we'll go ahead and give them the interview space to uh, signify that. Whoever's got Lowe's popular right now, it's Chris. It's a shame. Okay, match number three is going to be a Cruiserweight Championship match, and we're going to try to get our championship back for Mr. Chavo Guerrero. And uh, what's going on here is... This is actually what I had planned on in the first place, but um, I figured, you know, with what happened last week, we can just kind of play off of it. Elijah Burke won the Cruiserweight Championship last week. Uh, not intentionally. It's not what I wanted, but it's what happened. So we're going to deal with it. We're going to grow from it, and we're going to deal with it. But uh, Johnny Nitro in kayfabe, he had his hand uh, in that match, and he was interfering, and ultimately he didn't, he didn't get the... 
outcome that he wanted because he wanted Elijah Burke to lose the match. Uh, Elijah Burke won the match. Chavo Guerrero wants the title back. Johnny Nitro feels uh, he's got some FOMO, like he's missing out. Um, so he wants to be in the triple threat match. He feels like he has the right to be in the triple threat match last week. Might as well have been a triple threat match, so the general manager is going to make it a triple threat match for the Cruiserweight title. And we're going to go ahead and run it back. Uh, Chavo and Elijah Burke, technically. Chavo is just a... Uh, what the fuck? Not in contention. Johnny Nitro's wording is 100% blue. Don't you dare say... I am so confused. I'm... Hold on. Oh, it's because Chavo... That's whack, man. That, that is so disappointing. It's because Chavo's not in the power 15. That's the only reason it could be. Because Chavo's not in the power 15. Shit, son. That really puts me at a roadblock for what I'm going to do. I really don't know. And we're getting late in this video. So, damn. Okay, we're just not going to make it for the Cruiserweight Championship, and we're going to try to win with Chavo Guerrero. We're just going to really, really hope he gets that victory. Um, <laughs> okay, son of a bitch. Okay, match number four uh, is going to be the third qualifying match uh, for the United States Championship match. That is, it's not going to be Gregory Helms versus King. It's going to be a match we've already had before. It's actually going to be King Abukech versus Rey Mysterio. Um, winner goes into the United States Championship. Obviously, uh, both these guys are worthy of being in that title picture. Uh, Rey Mysterio in kayfabe has picked up quite a few Ws. Uh, King Booker in gameplay, um, you know, and, and just knowing who King Booker is, uh, you know, he may not have had the most wins in the last few weeks, but he's got a uh, pole in uh, the locker room backstage and uh, stuff like that. So, um, now, in our main event, the last week we saw Mr. Kennedy defeat Rey Mysterio. Two weeks before that, we saw, or no, three weeks before that, excuse me, we saw Kane defeat Chris Masters. Now, we are going to see Ed, or not Ed, <laughs> damn it, I cannot speak. Mr. Kennedy versus Kane in the finals of the number one contendership tournament. Go ahead, show the graphic, show these folks what led up to this. The eight folks that, or the eight gentlemen that started this tournament, now we're down to the last two. Kane and Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy being accompanied by Snitsky. Mr. Kennedy lost to Bobby Lashley, defeated Bobby Lashley, and then reconfirmed his victory over Bobby Lashley before defeating Rey Mysterio to get here. Kane defeated MVP and then defeated Chris Masters, both very rather convincingly on the way to get here. So, you know, Mr. Kennedy's got a monster in his corner, but he's facing a monster himself. So, we'll see how it goes. This match will be a good one. And we're going to just go ahead and continue on from here. But we gotta figure out the last promo. We're gonna call, no, we'll go ahead. We'll just do an advertising promo. But we're gonna end the episode here. We, 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 we gotta get out of here. We're running on our, on our last few minutes. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you've made it this far, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, giving the video a like, and uh, maybe some, leaving some feedback down at the bottom of this page. It's all appreciated and it's all free. Thank you so much, so much for watching. Excuse me, and we'll see you next time.